The new stars is an alpha 3.19 PTU pass just dropped for the Evo Cardi. And once again, we've gotten our hands on the leaks. A big shout out to the Pipeline Discord channel for revealing these leaks. This time around, under new features, under the gameplay category, they have enabled the Ghost Hollow Reclaimer PvP mission. It says, adding a new mission type to the Ghost Hollow Crash site on Microtech, making use of the Comrade as well as the AI Nav Mesh. This mission type will create PvP encounters where players will need to fight for control over terminals for a chance at a big credit payout. This is a mission with outlaw UEC terminals in the Reclaimer Derelict. When active, they will generate UEC that anybody can withdraw, creating PvP encounters between players trying to control the terminal, which are also guarded by Outlaw AI. To start the terminal, the comma rays must be disabled. If that is done, the terminals can be activated in the tower next to the derelict ship. To start this event at the Ghost Hollow Crash site, a player will need to disable the Stanton 4 comma ray above Microtech, which will enable the terminal and mobile glass communication is sent to all nearby players. As this is a PvP event, this evil Cardi test, we are allowing players in proximity of Ghost Hollow for testing purposes. All right, under feature updates, under the location category, they did a polish pass on the Lorville no-fly zone, LODs, and building collision meshes. Before I move forward, I'd like to need people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the Great Cat STV LTI token, actually. And um, all you got to do to participate is to subscribe and leave a comment on any video between the month of April. Let's move on with the rest of the video. Under the ships and vehicle category, the 400i engineering proxy pass to define component bay shapes better and stop components from being blocked for tractor beam gameplay. Under bug fixes, they have a few. The center mass shopkeeper is not touching console when playing typing animation, so that's been fixed. When it comes to the Aegis Redeemer, the quantum drive cannot be removed due to a collision barrier. When it comes to mining UI, the mining deposits that are stated to be impossible by its difficulty rating can be mined. Um, when it comes to the Spirit Prowler, the front crew ladder will not deploy when prompted by the player via in the thought. And um, for vehicles, pushing components with a tractor beam will cause them to click through the ship into space. Under technical, they have two client crashes, five server crashes, and a backend performance improvement. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.